upgraded your home program to this level, number E. All right, all fours, same as last series. We're going to start with three way child's pose. So slowly sit back. She'll relax her head, neck, shoulders, everything. One long, big, deep inhale, exhale. And then she moves back up, walks her hands to the left side, sits back. One big, long inhale, exhale. Comes up, moves to the right. And sits back. Good. One big, long inhale, exhale. She comes back. Now, <clears throat> we're going to throw in a low lunge. So basically, she's going to bring her left leg, right leg, she's bringing her right leg up. Good. Now, what we want to see, <clears throat> what you want to watch is you want to take up this, as much of the width of the mat as possible so that you're not having a balance issue. Also, we want the ankle to be further away from the knee, so you're going to move further up, up this way. There we go. So there's a slight angle, and there's a reason why we do that. When you start, we move back a little bit so that the line of the body is in line with this leg, the knee that's down. Why? You're going to hold it here. <clears throat> You're going to tighten up your stomach so you pull your belly button into your spine, hold that, and now she's going to shift forward. And she's going to feel the stretch right through here stretching your hip flexor. The hip flexors are so notoriously tight, which contributes to a lot of back pain. She's gonna take one big long inhale, exhale, holding the tummy, holding this, exhale, and she shifts back. And now she moves into the pigeon pose as she heel toes her foot over as far as she can, keep coming, and she's gonna drop down to the pigeon pose. Good. Remember moving the foot, having the foot anywhere that's comfortable for her to allow her to feel that stretch on the right buttock. She stay up on her hands, elbows, forehead, staying here a good 30 seconds. Breathing normal. After the 30 seconds, now we get to take it to the other side. So she's going to come back up, leg goes back, and she's going to repeat the low lunge stretch on the left side. Coming up. Again. She's back because we want to straight line your body with the knee. So the knee is directly underneath the shoulder. As you can see, her foot is in front of the knee. She's going to tighten this up, hold, and now she's going to lean into it and she's going to immediately start feeling it here. Remember, no pain. You just want to feel the stretch here and big inhale, exhale. Going to slowly heel toe her foot over and move into the pigeon pose, hands down. So she slowly goes in, back leg goes back. She's feeling the stretch here. She can stay up on her hands, elbows, forehead. Remember, 30 seconds in the pigeon pose. Good, and then this completes the series B. And of course, you would repeat this three to five repetitions, one to two times a day.